Hey everyone, welcome back to another Terraria video. Today, thanks to some comments and suggestions, we got our next weapon to test out against bosses. But yes, today's weapon, you know, we checked out a previous weapon from the same mod, the Broken Copper Short Sword. But today, we are checking out the True Iron Short Sword from the Broken Copper Short Sword mod. Now, as you can see, it says it only does one melee damage, which is obviously false and it also says sword just in case you forgot what it was but yeah obviously if we uh summon in some enemies here we will see the uh, true power as it insta kills things without even like damage indicators showing up we got the dps thing on for once which i always forget to turn on for videos but like it's not even showing really the true damage being done it has to be doing more than one damage because obviously these nymphs have 600 health but they're getting one tapped so uh, the DPS meter isn't really gonna help too much in this video today, but let's get to the bosses. Let us go ahead and start with the King Slime. Of course, see you later. Always the first one that has to die. You know, maybe I should change it up next time. Start with like the wall of flesh because the King Slime, you know, he's always getting his shit rocked at the beginning. You know, right away, since I am in the area where I did the original mod review for Turkor and Lepus, let's do Turkor and Lepus. Say what's up to them also say goodbye at the same time because they're not going to be here for too long let us go ahead and make it nighttime and quickly take out our nighttime bosses here now this isn't like 1.4 short swords where i can aim it i do kind of got to get in there and hit them up close which i'm hoping when a 1.14 mod comes out you know this mod will update and i can actually point it in every direction but i also do know that there is some mods out there that already add that feature to team mod loader 1.3 speak about team mod loader 1.3 you know people keep on thinking i'm playing in 1.4 I'm not. There isn't Team Mod Loader out for 1.4. There is mods out for 1.4 that aren't Team Mod Loader, but I am playing Terraria 1.3 right now with mods installed. So uh, hopefully that clears up any confusion because I know people get confused sometimes. But there you go. There's a giant chunk of the pre hard mode bosses. Let's go ahead and get the uh, Corruption and Crimson bosses out of the way. All right, we got the Brain here. The Brain's always an interesting boss in terms of uh, how to kill it with one tap usually not gonna happen usually we gotta kill all the creepers and then we could actually one tap the brain but the thing is the creepers are a part of the brain of cthulhu's health so it's kind of weird i mean like as long as it one taps the creepers i guess it one taps the brain it feels weird going from the ender prism which was this insane theatric weapon that shoots beams everywhere to go into a little tiny sword you know what i'm saying oh hold up look at this is this considered a one tap I mean, I guess we're one tapping all the segments. Yeah, we're going to this little little baby sword. The thing is about the like broken copper short sword. Like this thing, this thing had some flair to it. Like, look at this. It's been updated since the last time we used it. But like, look at this. This thing was cool. But now we're just giving things a, a poke. Like, look at this really fast pokes but still all i'm trying to say is we've seen some uh, very exciting weapons in this series and we've seen some very plain boring weapons but it's usually the plain boring ones that get stuff done the fastest all right let us go ahead and get to the hard mode bosses here start with my favorite mech trio well really this is the only mech trio uh, i guess we have the steampunk trio in the enigma mod but yeah I expect to one tap everything here destroyer okay interesting the destroyer kind of got split up uh instead of getting one tap but if we hit him in the head yeah we do one tap him. next up let us do some event bosses okay so this is very interesting we hit him once right there we could like break all his turrets and then okay i don't know that was that was really interesting everything was a one tap but like it wasn't a swift motion like previous weapons next up we got the dutchman here i'm very interested to see how this is okay we can break each cannon one by one and then it dies so th this is very interesting how this is working out because we've had weapons in the past where segment or not it just insta kills the boss but this time around i don't know it's feeling like we gotta break down all the segments you know it's getting very close to christmas by the time this video goes out this video is probably going out on like the 22nd so merry christmas to everyone and if you don't celebrate christmas happy holidays you know usually every christmas me and my friends uh, do a little secret santa white elephant thing so i do plan to be gone towards the end 
end of the month, like the 29th to the 31st, something like that. Uh, so if I don't post videos during then, you know why. Yeah, let's go ahead and move on to the Ice Queen. Honestly, in my personal opinion, probably one of the ugliest sprites from the Christmas event. I don't know. She's just boring to me. Next up, we got the Halloween event, which I will say I, I do like the Halloween event more than the Christmas one. Uh, I just think the items are cooler. I don't know. They're both really cool events. You know, when they originally came out, I was really surprised and happy that they came out because they added a lot to the game. Honestly, it's a big chunk of hard mode, those two events right there, because they add in a lot of good weapons. Now with 1.4 out, they add in good mounts and stuff. It's very cool. All right, let's go ahead and take on the Dark Mage, who will make those weird noises that I'm just starting to notice that he makes those weird noises. I don't know why I haven't noticed that in the past. I don't know. Maybe it's just I have new headphones. On to the Ogre, the favorite of the three Old Ones Army bosses, because he just looks funny and he sneezes on people. And last but not least, Betsy. Come here, Betsy. Quit, quit trying to run from it. She's trying to run from it. Also, it's a little tiny sword, so it's, it's kind of hard to hit things. You already know what time it is. Duke, fish, Ron. Say it with me, everyone. Duke, fish, gone. No, I don't know when I plan to change the world we start doing videos in. I obviously have a uh, Chaos's lab that he made for me that I eventually want to move to permanently, but we'll see. We will see. This this world just has too many memories on it. Like we legit can see so many old videos on here. We got like this video over here, the best mining mount. We got one of my vi one of my highest viewed videos right here, the best pickaxe. Oh, and the game crash. <laughs> All right, the game crash when I was reminiscing about the world. I'm not gonna do it anymore. That's a sign that I shouldn't. Let's go ahead and kill Plantera. Damn, that legit killed her. Didn't even get to see the second phase there, which honestly I thought we were. Let's go ahead and hit up the boys. How are the boys doing? See, if you guys are wondering why the dungeon is painted, you gotta watch the older videos. Come on now. So much history on this world. I shouldn't talk about it. The world's about to crash. Watch. Yeah, let's go ahead and kill all these dudes. See you later. It's weird how only two of them gave me money. What the hell? I'm gonna sit right here and just start swinging. <laughs> Got him. On to the pillars. See you later. Speed running the pillars. Look at this. Supersonic speed. Bye bye. This is about to be the fastest Moon Lord spawn yet. Like, I don't even know what's happening. This is how it is when I watch speed runs. I don't know what the hell is going on. But there you go. And I'll chill right here. I'm ready for the Moon Lord. Oh, hey. Nice for you to finally get here. Okay, honestly, this might be tough to land these uh, sword swings. Boom. There's the first one. Boom. There's the second. It's less of a swing, more of a stab. There's the eye and there's the heart. Okay, that wasn't that bad. All right, before I forget, because I legit just forgot. Okram, Okram, Marco, see you later. It is time for the Thorium bosses. Let's do Abyssion. No armor Abyssion, looking good. Armored Abyssion, killed him. Maybe I double tap, because if you do notice, this sword does swing a little fast. So let me just try and single tap. Oh. There you go, look at that. I had to barely tap my mouse right there. All right, these guys honestly might be a little hard to hit too. Wait, wait, maybe I can spawn kill him? Yes. Boom. And last but not least, the Dream Eater. Okay, not too bad. Now, I should read the comments from the last video, see if any people have suggested some other uh, Calamity bosses. But let us go ahead and do Dog and uh, Yarn first, just to get them out of the way. I usually like to summon Dog with the actual summon. Less buggy this way boom oh my god you love to see that i love seeing any weapon kill a calamity boss because it beats their dumbass damage caps and is beautiful oh my god automatic hall of fame for this weapon all right let us go ahead and see what's popping with yarn uh, i like to call him just yarn because i know him like that me and him go way back met him in high school all right let's kill him though how does this work oh not even a second phase this legit is just the entity the leader but you still get the loot I Actually, we didn't get the loot that time since uh, he wasn't in the second phase, but all the other bosses we've been getting the loot for. Now, this makes me question, just real quick before I look at the comments, this makes me question and uh, wonder, uh, the Dungeon Guardian and Eidolon 1, will it insta-kill these? Yes, okay, that's with the Calamity mod installed too. Eidolon Worm, come here, come here. Oh, oh my god, what, that is such a rare sight right there. If you guys haven't watched the previous episodes, you just witnessed the Eidolon Worm dying for the first time in a while. That's crazy. Okay, so I looked at the comments real quick, and 
apparently only dog yarn and scal or supreme cal have damage caps there's no other bosses in clam do damage caps apparently that's the first comment that i read but some people told me try some fargo's mod bosses and honestly there's a good bit of bosses from the fargo's mod uh there's even like stronger versions of some vanilla bosses i think because of massive mode i think that's fargo's mod but let's go, let's go ahead and let's try the mutant real quick because this is this is a tough boss right here let me come here come here Come here. He doesn't want to get one tap. Come here. Gotta get him while he's standing still. Holy hell. <laughs> My boy going crazy. You all right? What about the Deviant? The only Deviant I know is uh, Deviant Art. That's the only time I've ever heard the word Deviant used. Actually, Detroit. That that robot game or the Android game, whatever the fuck they're called. Okay, this boss is a little hard to touch. Like, come, come closer so I can hit you. I got a short sword. It's kind of hard. All right, there you go. New record. Thank you. All right, let us go ahead and fight Supreme Cal. Let's see how long I can go without moving, but dodging perfectly. Okay, like pretty, pretty good. Like four or five seconds. That's not bad. All right, we got to... Oh, can we kill the Sepulcher? Oh, we can kill the Sepulcher. Oh my God. I bet she's never seen that type of power before. Yes, yeah, right. you better back off. All right, so we got to we gotta break the balls, which honestly, this might be harder than hitting her herself. Unless she walks into me. Oh, she walked into me. That's her fault. It's not my fault. She dead though? She it says she has zero health. I'm gonna just keep stabbing this bitch. <laughs> now, I'm not one to use the word cringe often, but uh, I think it's kind of cringe when a Terrier boss talks to you, <laughs> especially dialogue like this. I'm just getting started. When are we gonna get some voice acting and some Terrier mods? Now, that's what I wanna see. Any mod developers, I'll gladly voice act your Terraria bosses. <laughs> I'm gonna consider this a W, because, like, I beat her so bad, like, the game doesn't even know what's happening. But yeah, I'm gonna give this weapon a thumbs up hall of fame entry this is this is some power right here this is like when thanos first got his hands on the infinity gauntlet every single stone inside of it like this shit has some power it took down the eidolon worm it took down all the why did it drop down there it took down all the damage caps and everything like honestly it was crazy uh for some reason this is my only pet peeve is the sprite is boring and also this so i guess i have two pet peeves like what the hell is this why does it drop on the floor so weird i don't know whatever but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the video leave more op weapon suggestions yeah thank thank you for watching leave a like subscribe i love you bye bye